Hello students, lecture on sequence and series. What is sequence? A real sequence is a function with domain n, with domain n and range subset of r, where r is real number and n is natural number. We have studied earlier about domain and range. Now, one way to express a real sequence is to list its first few terms till the rule for writing down other terms like this 1 3 5 is a sequence whose nth term nth term is given by 2n minus 1 so you can check we can say nth term by a n 2n minus 1 if n equal to 1 then the value of a1 is equal to given by 2 into 1 2 2 minus 1 1 if n equal to 2 then the value of a n is given by put value of n here then a2 is equal to 2 to the 4 minus 1 that is 3 for n equal to 3 6 minus 1 that is 5 so you can say that sequence also write by a1 a2 a3 and so on a n where nth term is 2 n minus 1 value of small n is start from 1 2 3 because I have told you that the domain of sequence is from n n is a natural number and natural number starts from 1 2 3 and so on and the range range which comes according a1 a2 a3 dash 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 a n this is from r this is from subset of r and the domain is from natural numbers okay now the another example for sequence that is fibonacci series fibonacci sequence if you talk about the Fibonacci sequence then you know a1 is equal to 1 and a2 is equal to 1 and a n plus 1 equal to a n plus a n minus 1 for n is greater than equal to 2 this is the Fibonacci sequence method okay where value of a1 is given by 1 a2 is also 1 and a n plus 1 is equal to a n plus a n minus 1 this is the relation between nth term and the previous nth term ok now the condition is given by n is greater than and equal to 2 if you put the value n small n equal to 2 because n is greater than equal to 2 so you cannot put value n equal to 1 now if you put n equal to 2 then from the sequence a n plus 1 is equal to a n plus a n minus 1 you get a 2 plus 1 that is 3 equal to a n n's value is 2 then a 2 plus 2 minus 1 1 a 1 so what is the value of a 1 is 1 and a 2 is 1 also then a 3 is equal to 1 plus 1 equal to 2 further n equal to 3 put value n equal to 3 then a 3 plus 1 that is 4 equal to a 3 plus 3 minus 1 is 2 so value of a2 is 1 plus value of a3 is 2 that is 3 hence the terms of the sequence 1 1 2 3 5 8 and so on known as Fibonacci sequence ok next series if a1 a2, A3, A4 and so on, AN is a sequence, if this is a sequence then A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 plus dash 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 plus AN is a series. A series is finite or infinite according as the number of terms in the corresponding sequence is finite or infinite 
If there are infinite sequence number, then the series is known as infinite series. If there are finite sequence number, then the series is known as finite series. Now, this is all about series. What is progression? There is slight difference between series and progression. That is, it is not necessary that the terms of a sequence always follow a certain pattern. Hence, we so that 1, 3, 5 and so on 2 and minus 1 is also a sequence and 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8 is also a sequence. But for first one, sequence follow a pattern that if we add 2, 1 plus 2 equal to 3, 3 plus 2 equal to 5, plus 2 7, hence 9, then the sequence first follow a certain rule that if we add 2 with the previous digit we find our next sequence and for the second one there is no certain rule ok 1 1 2 3 5 8 hence it is not necessary that the terms of a sequence always follow a certain pattern or they are described by some explicit formulas for the nth term those sequence whose term follow certain patterns are called progression if 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and so on 2n minus 1 is a sequence here is a sequence ok 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus and so on plus 2n minus 1 is a series Now check whether the series follow a pattern or not. So add 1 by 2 plus 2 you get 3. Further add plus 2 you get 5. Further add plus 2 you get 7. Further add plus 2 you get 9. Further add plus 2 you get 11. Hence a series follow a pattern. It means this is known as a progression. So a sequence is called a sequence is called an arithmetic progression if the difference of term and the previous term is always the same okay a sequence is called an arithmetic progression if the term if the difference of a term and the previous term is always a constant hence we can say a n plus 1 minus a n equal to always constant and which is denoted by small d ok so this is about arithmetic progression in short form AP the constant difference generally denoted by d and is called the common different also ok like example 1 4 7 10 and so on is an AP is an AP whose first term is 1 1 is denoted by first term and the common difference is the difference of a term and the previous term the term if you take the term 4 then the previous term for 4 that is 1 then 4 minus 1 equal to 3 and here if you take the term 7 then the previous term for 7 is 4 7 minus 4 equal to 3 and if you take the term 10 the previous term is 7 10 minus 7 equal to 3 you can see 3 is common for all that is common difference small d hence 1 4 7 10 is an arithmetic progression ok this is an, this is an also a sequence and also an arithmetic progression ok so we can say that uh, a sequence uh, an, uh, an arithmetic progression is always a sequence but the vice versa is not true ok now general term for AP before studying about general term of AP we learn how to check 
whether it is a sequence or a series like first of all sequence is denoted by braces and nth term so i sequence is given by a n equal to 4 n 5 1 is an ap it is by default given that the sequence is an ap now find the common difference find small d how to check we have value a n is equal to 4 n plus 1 replace n by n plus 1 because we know that na what is ap ap is the difference of our term and the previous term if you take the term n plus 1 then and previous term for n plus 1 is n put n plus 1 on place of n then a n plus 1 equal to 4 n plus 1 5 4 n plus 4 plus 5 or you get 4 n plus 9 now the difference of term and the previous term the difference of term that is a n plus 1 and previous term for a n plus 1 is a n put the value of a n plus 1 that is 4 n plus 9 minus for a n a n is 4 n minus 5 plus 5 but for because of there is minus before that then 4 n minus 5 cancel out 4 n by 4 n and you get value 4 and 9 minus 5 4 now clearly you, you can see that a n plus 1 minus a n is independent of n there is no n there is a only integer so the given sequence is an ap and the common difference is 4 so d is equal to 4 now the general term of an ap let a be the first term let a be the first term and d be the common difference of an AP then the nth term of an AP is given by a plus n minus 1 into d okay a plus n minus 1 into d this is the nth term of an AP now nth term of an AP from the end this is the another question nth term of n ap from the end now you can know uh, you can see here that a be the first term and the d be the common difference of the ap now having m terms if an ap have m terms the total number of terms of ap are n m then the nth term from the end nth term from the end means if you have terms a1 a2 a3 and so on am total number of terms is m m terms in ap nth term from the end if you count from am 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 minus 1 am minus 2 am minus 3 or a n nth term which is the in between the terms a1 a2 a3 to a m so mth term from the end is given by nth term of an ap from the end is given by total number of terms that is m minus the term which we have to find that is nth term plus 1 from the beginning so you can change the nth term of from the end to the nth term from the beginning by total number of terms m minus the term which you have to find out plus one term from the beginning so put this formula 
it nth term from the end is given by a the number m minus n plus 1 is equal to what is the general formula for an ap a a is as it is plus n n is the nth term from the beginning so m minus n plus 1 nth term from the beginning then m minus n plus 1 n minus 1 into d plus 1 minus 1 is cancel out you get a plus m minus n into d this is the m minus n plus 1 nth term from the beginning or you can say nth term from the end if n a p have m terms this is a very important for more videos and more short tricks and more study materials stay tuned with quantapti thank you for watching this video